Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome to Money Control. I'm Karunya Rao. With me is Manisha Gupta and today in the commodities chat we put the spotlight on cotton prices which are at a one year low. Now the demand has fallen not just in India but globally as well. So what what's pulled it down? So one is the demand itself because we are not looking at any new uh, buying coming in from the manufacturers uh, for one. You know, not, not too many industries are changing their furnishings or buying curtains, etc. So one is the industry demand, the other mm. really is the yarn demand and the third is the customer demand. So uh, whatever buying had to happen or whatever manufacturing had to happen for Diwali has already happened. Okay. But after that for Christmas and New Year there is not new orders coming in. So whatever you are, if you are looking at uh, buying happen in markets right now ahead of Diwali because of uh, Navratri etc. Mm. Well that production that manufacturing was done nearly 2 to 3 yeah. months before so we can't really judge it by the kind of people who are on streets right now buying those things or malls for that matter but the forward looking demand is just not there so basically the manufacturers are not expecting it to sustain post the festive season that's right so uh now what happens i mean uh, will the buying now start because we we're looking at some attractive levels one year low like i said will it pick up given the attractive prices or will the demand still remain a bit thanda well it does look thanda right now <laughs> because uh, the international demand is not coming in so you know i have been talking to a lot of manufacturers and cotton associations within india textile associations for that matter as well and then to some european buyers mm -hmm. also so they they say that this uh, this thing is not just india centric in global mm -hmm. markets as well there are concerns for 2022 yes the crop did look good we're looking at a higher number for the indian markets as well but going forward there is there is supply concern from us where we are looking at uh, hot temperatures in texas so the supply could actually go down by 28% mm. quite contrary to that pakistan has seen floods so that has impacted their crop for the indian markets even as we are looking at a higher crop but that's just on paper mm. right now because there are pest per problems we also are looking at lower yield because of the kind of erratic monsoon that yeah. we have seen and for the indian markets as well we have seen the cotton prices come down from 50000 rupees per bale to 32000 mm, rupees right now drop. that's quite a drop and then from mid october you will have the new crop arrival start into the market in a scenario where there is not so much demand 50% capacity is what the mills are working with and it doesn't look like a very strong scenario one for the farmers two for the textile industry itself mm -hmm. and yes uh, exports also have seen a 10 to 15% of a decline with the kind of global markets that we have so it doesn't uh, you know paint a very pretty picture so for cotton so even at these attractive prices the buying may not really happen is what the industry is fearing right but now but if you're saying that there are parts where uh, you know there are climate issues where it's going to be hot and the crop could yeah, get affected even in india mm -hmm. if the supply or you know is likely to to uh, sort of contract going forward then will maybe not now but in the next 6 months maybe do we see a pick up so well yes there are ifs in and buts yes yeah. there are ifs and buts that the industry is working with the next 3 months 6 months maybe the demand will start coming back but isn't that exactly what we are talking about other commodities and other asset classes yeah. as well we live in hope that yes in next next 2 to 3 quarters next two quarters let's say the interest rate hike cycle is done the dollar would have come off a bit there would be global trade that would come back into the markets and as we've spoken earlier as well that when you talk about equities and then you talk about industrial commodities within agriculture it is cotton that tells you on whether we are back in case of demand growth scenario or not which doesn't look like the case right now is the reason you've seen a constant decline but let me also tell you when you look at the international markets mm -hmm. when we were deep within covid when everything mm -hmm. was getting locked out uh, cotton prices fell to 60 cents at that time and the pent up demand took the cotton prices to 115 cents hmm. right now we're trading at 85 cents yeah. so we are still above those covid periods but the demand really seems to be shaking shaky the pent up demand that we saw last year is not there anymore so i think you know from what you said i i would one would assume that even textile demand or uh, apparel demand all of it is also pretty sluggish right it now is, i mean it is. maybe for the next one two months it could be buoyant but again that manufacturing and stocking up happened way back yes Okay so perhaps if you're also invested in any of these textile stocks retail apparel makers you might want to uh, relook at your investments and your portfolio I mean, have you seen the kind of discounts that clothing companies yeah, are giving yeah. right now I mean across the board and and you know back in august when the typical monsoon sale happens it has still continued until, until now yeah. so i yeah every time i open an app it shows me 20% to 70% yeah. discount in various major brands yeah, yeah, so yeah. yes that tells us that there is concern so at least some silver lining in all of it is even if your portfolio is tanking or if it's getting affected <laughs> at least you can go and buy and get good steals and good deals online as far as the retail uh, companies are concerned especially apparel and fashion uh, manufacturers all right we'll wrap it up on that note thank you so much for tuning in